Happy New Year, everyone, and welcome to The Daily with Greg Lawless. I'm Jason Seguini. Let's take a look at what's in the news. It seems that Toronto is getting things together up there, bringing in Aaron Vinter potentially as a technical director and Paul Mariner as a head coach. That's what the rumors in Europe are saying. Yeah, lots of reports in the media in Europe right now about what's going to happen in Toronto. I find it very interesting that way. But Aaron Vinter, former Dutch international, has been with Ajax Amsterdam for a long time, also was with Inter Milan and Serie A as a player, a very good player has seen the IX system and he's reportedly going to be taking over as technical director at TFC. This has Jurgen Klinsmann's hands all over it. He's looking to build TFC as a sort of European model club where there's a youth development program a la IX and their famous youth development program. Vinter comes in to look into that and then they also were talking about bringing in Paul Mariner. He left his club in England, Plymouth Argyle. He's no longer with them so he's a free agent. He could sign with TFC. Reports out of England say there's a three-year deal or or offer on the table right now, this would be, I think, a good mix. You get the European look a la Hans Bakke in New York, but you also have Mariner in there with lots of MLS experience as the former assistant at uh, the Revolution. Mm -hmm. He watched how Steve Nichol built that team at the Revolution. He understands MLS, understands the uh, North American player. He can put all of that together. Aaron Vinter comes in, has great connections in Europe if they need to bring in players, also in terms of building the youth development program at TFC. Well, another coaching vacancy that could be filled. We're hearing reports from ESPN Deportes that Robin Frazier is going to take over at Chivas USA. And this is another con reconstruction job out at Chivas USA. Robin Frazier, the assistant for Real Salt Lake for the last couple of years, from 2007 on, he was there as they built, as Jason Christ built that team mm -hmm. into the 2009 MLS Cup champions and the powerhouse that they are right now. Is he going to be able to do it all in Chivas? That's going to be the question. I think he could. I think he has all the skills. As, as a coach, his demeanor is very, very good. He's always been liked by the players that have played under him, and I think this is a good p mix for them right now. Question, though, to me goes, what does this do for the sort of heavy Hispanic uh, makeup of this club? Is Robin Fraser the guy for that? Or are they bringing in another technical director or someone like that who's going to be involved in that, on that side of things? I think they just want to win, Greg. Of course they just want to win, but you know what? Jorge Vergara, the ownership group, has always said we want to win in a, in a particular style. Is Robin Frazier the guy for that? He might be, but I think he's also going to have some help in the front office. All right, well, Robin Frazier to L.A., potentially David Beckham leaving L.A., at least for a short-term loan to Tottenham. Yeah, and I like this. This is going to be a lot of fun if Beckham goes over to Spurs. Spurs are looking for a little bit of help in, in, on the right side. He's obviously not going to push Aaron Lennon out of there, but Harry Redknapp came out on basically the opening of the transfer window and said, we are interested in David Beckham. Him. We want him here. He's gone on to say we want him here before the Manchester United game, which is in two weeks, which would obviously be interesting if Beckham's going to go out and play against United. But I think it's going to be a good pickup for Spurs. Beckham, obviously, is going to sell a lot of jerseys. He's going to sell a lot of tickets, create a lot of buzz for that club. This is a club that's trying to become one of the top four in England, and this would certainly help them. Yeah, and they're looking for, I think, a little bit of veteran yeah. presence in the exactly. locker room that he can bring. Um, one veteran who looks to be headed over to Europe is Jeff Cunningham, who couldn't come to terms with the crew, looks now to be trialing over in Europe. Yeah, and, and couldn't come to terms yet. I mean, you know what? Look, it, we saw after the re-entry draft and how that was going to work that there would be this signing period afterward. Mm -hmm. He didn't come to terms with them yet. So right now, Columbus still own uh, the rights to Jeff Cunningham in MLS. He's gone over to Scandinavia for some trials in Norway and Denmark, particularly with Randers in Denmark, which is also where Yuram of Sissian, former RSL striker, is. I'm not convinced that it's a done deal that he's going to Europe. I could see Cunningham actually maybe going over, trialing, and then making a decision to say, you know what, I'm going to come back and see what Columbus has to offer again. Columbus, they need to find someone who can score. Cunningham has done that consistently the last couple of years for sure. And I think from Cunningham's side, you don't necessarily want to burn all your bridges. He's got to be thinking about what comes next. If there's a coaching position later on in MLS, it would be very good for him to end his career in MLS. The interesting thing about Randers is Mavsissian might actually be somebody who is going to be bought. So they might yeah, have they that might have a space. Yeah, that's true. Mavsissian done very well for Randers. You could see another club coming in, swooping in for him, and then Cunningham goes in. Um, other things going on this week, Greg, the U.S. National Team Camp yep. and the U-20 National Team Camp. Yeah, both of them getting together. U-20 starting today. They're going to be getting together. It's MLS guys on that time team and also, of course, the U.S. National Team. They start on Tuesday. They're going to be getting together. 20 out of 24 players on that roster are from MLS, including a lot of young guys. Tim Ream, Agudelo, uh, you know, Teal Bunbray. It's going to be a very green team. I think the leader on this team ends up being 
you know, you're thinking Ugo Ehemelu is one of the leaders. Omar Gonzalez might have to step up to be a leader on this, on this U.S. team. They're going to be going against a Chile team on January 22nd at the Home Depot Center that is very, very young. Marcelo Bielsa, who has resigned as Chile's head coach, but has decided he's going to be in charge of this game. He named a team of, of players who are mainly reserves. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they're all from the Chilean League or other South American leagues, so all the big boys won't be there. But, you know, it's going to be a good test for both teams, I think. It'll be good to see a young U.S. team. Yeah. get out there as, as favorites maybe and, yep. and hopefully come through. Uh, that's all we have for the Daily today. Check out Extra Time Radio later today. You can download it on iTunes. We'll be back on the Daily tomorrow.